Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindu Mubarak and I welcome you to our 35th lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. As you know, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer and do our today's business without wasting any, without wasting any minute. So in the previous lecture, we are facing some challenge with image uploading so i'm going to start straight from there so you have to come here to edit so everything was okay and everything is okay so here let me come back from where we stopped at uh, which is this point okay so we check if the image is not empty we we'll go ahead and do this yeah something like that so here when you're uploading when you're uploading let's go to here to our post so in uploading an image, first you have to convert that image from uh, a normal JSON to a multi-part object. So what you're going to do here, so before we upload here, before we upload here, 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 we're going to first convert that. So to convert that, we're going to import DO package again as a, as a different name so to, have, to, have, to avoid conflicts. So let's go to our package. So let's go on top there let's go on top there who are import packages and then import the another deal like this okay import deal package as deal package just do it like this import deal package as deal package so after doing that then come to your HTTP post remember here we're in utils so come here to HTTP post here when you are posting so we're going to convert this data now to multi part data so this is how you convert it okay so show you so this is how we convert it so we shall come here then we say data or you can call it maybe new data or maybe upload something like that you can call it anything so like i say uh upload data you can call just this name any variable equals to do package the one that we just imported here and this, I, I mean, the one that we just imported here is do package because do package dot form, and then you say from map, and then you pass here this data. You pass here this data, this JSON data. You say from map and pass here this data. So this data upload form is the one that you're going to put here. So one that you're going to put, sorry, where are we? Where are we? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is supposed to be an HTTP post. Let's go to HTTP post here, here, here. So it's a post here. So we put that. Okay, upload it because do package dot from dot form data dot from, and then you pass uh, this data here. Then instead of uploading this plain JSON, you go and upload this multi part data that will have converted. This is what you upload. So that will solve the challenge, the problem that you are facing. All right, so let's go ahead and select the image. So go ahead and select some image and then submit. So it's uploading image and then to see it has uploaded successfully. So here I had, uh, here that just, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So here I just hidden this loader. Yeah, because of some reason for testing. Okay, so I think that's it. That's how you, that's how we upload a heart and image. So let's see if our image came. Let's see if our image came. Uh, to see if our image came, let's just be like editing. Okay, so this is a, a real object. So here, where there is no image, where there is no image. Okay, so uh, another thing that we need to know. We let, okay, let's first display here where there is no image and we display maybe some the image path. Eh? so let me come to where there is no image no no image selected i just want to display there the path of review image okay so it's going to be a widget dot item dot photo is it image or photo image can you see there's some image at least we can be able to see the image so what we're going to do 
we're going to display it there we're going to display there if there's some image you're to going to display there but before we do so we need to know i uh, need to know the the task whether it is editing task or it is a uh, creating task because you can see here the word is not changing here okay so uh let's go ahead at the top of our init state do you have even init state i don't think we have it we have not put it there so here it we're going to create here some init state so i'm going to come here on top and put some boolean and then i can say maybe is edit and then make it false okay so i come here and put init state so how can you know that it's editing i think i know it, if it's editing if our widget id is not zero okay if our widget dot item dot id is not zero then i know it is editing okay or it is greater than zero uh else it will be editing is false like this so it's a boolean that we're going to be checking for example here now here in creating create so i'm just going to simply do uh some do what so, some condition and let's say is edit if is edit is 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 edit put question mark if it is edit i put uh updating or i can say maybe updating a certain it certain that and else it is going to be create new okay so you see the word should change accordingly save so our title let's be like editing again you'll see our title is updating stock category okay if we come here it is create creating or should maybe create stock category let's say creating stock new stock category okay come to edit is editing creating something all right so if it is editing I'm going to check if the image path is not zero. If it is not zero and it is there, we're going to put now the that the image. We're going to display the image. So let's go where there is no no image selected. No image selected here. Uh so uh this is the first one that checks if uh the image path is not empty. Uh, let's go ahead and put now another one here another condition and i put if is editing if is editing is is edit if it's if the, if the task is edit and and image path and widget that image is not empty okay so All right, let me explain this. Okay, so let me explain this. So here I first check if the image path, the local image path, this is the local image path of the image that has just been picked. If it is not empty, I display it. Okay, check if it is editing. If we are editing and it uh, the image path is not empty, I go ahead and display that image by just simply using clip rect one and part at say image dot network and then I put image dot network dot dot item dot image and then I go ahead and display that image. Okay. So of course this image is not going to display why? Because this we have not put the base URL, okay? so let's put our utils and create maybe the image maybe get image something like that let's go ahead and create something like called utils and say get image url okay so give it that image so let's go ahead and create this method in our utils it's going to be static so it will be receiving the image url so it's going to be just simply returning the app url which is this one here i don't think we need an, the word api there 
okay we need to remove the word api okay let's replace this api okay so i can put here app url dot replace 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 all uh, api with what with forward slash i think it will remove that one so it should replace this api or can just like this and then should replace it with nothing eh? then i put the image path i think the image path stroke image path okay so let's see what we've got let us see what we've got let us first put this one in the con in the what in the console so I just simply put print and then you see what you've got in the console first uh save then we save so you see uh inventor track the teachings and first i'll remove one slash i don't need one slash okay uh, let's save again so it's what you've got stroke image i think we need to add the word storage there so i have to add storage like this in order to get it i think that's right now uh-huh yes see that is right so you see that is the image that is coming from internet okay that's the image that is coming from internet yeah so that's how we get we shall be getting the image but whoever yours can be different so you can work with it until it's giving you the right thing that you want so you can first put the console and check so we are able to resume even with the image that was already there so let's go ahead and select maybe the image from gallery and do update so i've updated okay so let's try to edit so to load you see our image that was in the gallery it has been loaded that is so 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 nice that is so nice that is so nice i hope you can see how it is really nice so that the image that has uploaded it is even there okay that is nice can be able even to change without changing the image you submit uh, when you come back refresh here come back and edit the image is still there that is beautiful isn't it it is beautiful okay that is so nice that is so so nice ah uh, so we proceed we proceed yeah, proceed at least we have now that kind of form so we have here the uh, the category However, this category it comes with a lot of data so you can you can present it better you can present it much more better for example let's come here to our category list our category list our categories list here okay here so you can just go ahead and put maybe subtitle and then this subtitle you see we have uh, for example the buying huh? buying price selling price expected profit so all these things are under categories okay so you can be able to display them you have even the image so you see the create some description you can get maybe max line of one okay uh -huh, so you can go ahead and put maybe the leading and put the image as a leading uh, so something like that so let's go ahead and put here some network image so it has good uh let's go to it create screen so you come and just copy this image dot network however i'm going to put the network caching image eh? so go ahead and put it there so height and width you can remove them so just simply put item dot image okay so how do you get this it's index at this ah. and then you'll have your image there you can give it some width of maybe 100 or maybe 50 and the height of 50 ah yeah that is and then you can give it some maybe clip rect clip rect and give some radius of eight so it can be a little bit rounded 
that's beautiful so if you edit it i mean sorry if you uh, let's add another product another category that is uh beverages i mean our uh, drinks you can add maybe another category uh of vegetables 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 ah vegetables it's active and then say maybe some details about vegetables okay so let's go ahead and download the image of vegetables so i come to our chrome let me copy this guy come to our chrome and just simply edit this one see you have here some search result vegetables category uh, yes i can take this one long press download come here select pick from gary submit ah vegetable categories there is that beautiful it is beautiful you can edit you can make it active you can make it inactive that is so beautiful okay so yeah that's it that is so nice that is so so nice we proceed to another thing we proceed to another thing we shall not sleep here okay so i finished the image uploading that was very good achievement uh we come back to our project and see what next so i finished the categories we got subcategories yeah so it's another interesting part here we go to subcategories okay subcategories subcategory okay so without wasting time let's go ahead and go to our what to our model generator let me open here um another and put here stroke our generator uh, what is this saying again table not found oh sorry i mean i'm on online <laughs> low cost uh let me serve this one offline php artisan serve okay 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 it's okay okay let's come here and import let's come here stroke gen and then let's come here stroke new and then you're going to put our what our subcategory stock subcategory how did you call the other one the other one you call it stock stock what stock category so it's going to be stock subcategory which and this one here stock subcategory model so i'll come here to our generator call this one stop category subcategory model and then here of course going to pick from stop subcategory table and then put here the input is stock subcategory the endpoint should be like this one here you go ahead and submit and generate it there it is and then click on generate model so there we have stock as a category all right so i'll copy this and then come to a project and then come to our models yeah here let click new file stop subcategory model dot that so a class come and say control a control c come and paste it here control v do no error no nothing okay so after doing that let's go ahead and draw the create a list by the way even those lists you can do some logic for them and just generate them something like that all right so let's go ahead and create subcategory i think subcategory and category can keep them in the same in the same what in the same folder okay so you have stock categories uh uh list so i'm going to create another list for stock subcategory list so I just copy this one stock categories list. I'll just copy it and paste. 
are going to be stock sub categories okay screen okay so i do like that ctrl c press enter so that's so stock sub category screen so i just come and select here what is stock categories screen i select it i press ctrl f to be like searching it and press alt and enter to do multi edit and i paste there so here instead of having stock category model i'm going to put stock sub category model eh? sub category model this one here and then i'll come and remove this one and I put stock sub category model then here i'll come and change the type to stock sub category something like that and then after 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 i go ahead and so this is the create screen we can go ahead and create also the create screen for stock uh subcategory all right so let's go ahead and do so so this is the stock category create screen so i'll just copy it and paste it and call it stock subcategory create screen copy that and press enter so that is our stock subcategory create screen it is here i'm going to come to it so i select this one for the restore category create screen press ctrl f alt and enter and paste there stock sub category screen and then this one is going to be accepting stock subcategory model stock subcategory model like this and then i can just say ctrl f okay i can just see what there is let us just first so everywhere where there is stock category mode, I press Ctrl F and press Alt and N and paste this one here. So it can just update the whole. So it has just updated everywhere the where there was stock category mode, it has updated with stock subcategory mode. That is nice. Now we come back to our side here where the stock categories list. And I come, I change here and where there is stock category create screen and put stock subcategory stock subcategories create screen just idea the word sub so it can have the correct screen and here on create okay let add here we just change this one to stock subcategory create screen and then this one going to be stock subcategory create screen yeah that's it i think that's it so the next thing we we'll add going to add it to what to our main menu so let us go ahead and add it to our main menu so I'll come to our main route and then come to where there is uh, uh so here here we are so we'll have stock categories this one here i'm just going to duplicate it okay i'm going to duplicate it and call it stock uh sub stock sub categories and then put here replace this class with stock categories i hope we are together i hope we are together so we have your stock subcategories so when you click on it here you are able to see stock subcategories so we have generated this together ah so everything is all right so i'll press control and click on here to proceed there okay i think we are together there Alright, so now I refresh here, everything is alright. Click here on plus, We're creating new stock. Stock what? Stock subcategory. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's go ahead and change that. So stock here. The new stock subcategory, like this. Okay, so much more things are going to look like the one that were there before. So we're just going to modify what is existing so everything is fine everything is fine and i hope you're able to do that without any challenge okay you're able to do that without any challenge okay 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 now let's now go ahead and do now the real business uh, we're going to begin by uh, so clicking uh, creating a new category this is what you need okay so we begin by first things first 
you have to select the parent category you have to select the parent category just so like they see here like they can have maybe food stuffs food stuffs and then under food stuffs where can have maybe the drinks and vegetables and whatever is this a spelling of food stuff anyway i hope it's that so when you create this one so it will be this one mainly so under it when i'm creating subcategory i should be able to select from these ones so uh, we're going to put here our select so i'm going to show you some logic of uh, selecting okay i'm going to show you some logic of selecting so i'm just going to duplicate this one i'm going to duplicate this so watch very carefully i'm going to duplicate this one to so this is stock subcategory so i mean so going to put here now the what the category picker so the parent category so we have uh so how we're going to change this where are we anyway stock subcategory model yes okay so it must have what let's see uh it must have stock category or the parent stock category so i'm going to put here stock category text because text is the one that is going to be used to display that's why i say that everything that has text you should be able to add i mean everything that has id at the end you should add text underscore text so that you should be able to have something to do in the back end as an id at the same time you have something to show the customer i mean to the user the text that will make sense to them so that's why i told you we should add text so i, ha I have for us so i uh, so here we're going to put here text then we're going to put here text so we're going to put here like select the parent category or select category this one here okay so it's going to be required i remove this minimum we're just going to make it required okay so i save so here uh we have now select stock category or stock parent category or main category something like that okay so in here in here in here i'm going to so you see if i click here it is editable but i want to make it a selector so i'm going to make it read only so i'm going to make it read only i'm going to remove this on change it i'm going to remove on change it okay so it's going to be read only so you see i cannot be able to change anything i cannot forecast there i cannot forecast there so i'm going to put on tap method like if someone clicks on it it should open okay uh -huh. so i'm going to put on tap method so after doing so i'm going to make so when someone clicks here it is launching it's on tap so i'm going to launch the the other category you don't know have the the category list this category list here okay this category list so i'm going to put the the logic of category list i mean that i'm going to launch this category list and i say when it comes for this it should enable the picker or it should enable the screen picker so let's see how we're going to do that let's see how we're going to do that okay so i'm going to show you something okay 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 i'm just thinking okay so what we're going to do we're going to put here stock category model stock category model and then after i'm going to put a stock category model so we will let's just say stock category not stock subcategory stock category model so you remember i want to pick equals i put question mark and they say maybe selected or picked or item selected something like that equals to and then i say get dot i put await equals to await get dot two and then i go ahead and put stock stock what stock uh categories I want to launch the other stock categories screen. Stock categories screen. I'm launching that screen. But here the difference is, so you see, 
now when I click here when I click here it is able to launch the screen eh? but after even if I select I cannot do what I cannot be able to know so I'm going to add here something that um, when someone clicks it uh, it should allow someone to select it should allow someone to uh, to select okay it should allow someone to select so sometime we shall come as selector sometime we shall come as what as just maybe the viewer or something like that so i'm going to add that one here so to do so i'm going to just simply create here something called maybe params uh so i can put here maybe map on top here of store categories screen so it's going to be a map of uh, string and dynamics something like that okay I can call this one maybe parameters okay call them params something like that so it's no longer constant here okay so it's going to be receiving params so i come and put here this dot params so to call this you should be providing some parameters so i'm going to come here to the init okay i'm going to come to the init of this categories select where is it here in the init so i'm going to put here a boolean uh, called boolean is picker or maybe something like that or maybe it is a picking task something like that so in the params here i'm going to check if there is a uh, is picker logic okay so i can check if params is not empty if parameters are not empty and then i go ahead and say if it has is picker so when we shall be calling this one we shall be providing it is picker parameter and then we make it true so that is when it will be able to enable it as as a what as a selector okay as a selecting uh, logic so here it is the initial method i check if the parameters are not empty i go ahead and say if is speaker i mean say widget dot params and then say if it, and the equality to is speaker so it means that when we are picking we shall be packing we shall be passing is speaker and make it true this is just a logic you can do it in any way so when it is speaker into the speaker so i make this one is speaker is true by default is speaker will be false so it means now when you'll be clicking on an item okay when we clicking on an item here for example this is our list style when you click on item so i'm going to put here on top you see here on top here it was doing nothing eh? so i check if it is is picker if is a picker if it is a picker i go back i say get dot back and then i put results and then say item i pass this item so this is how you send back the result to something that called this screen okay so i hope you get the point so i check if it is speaker i go ahead and send back the result so i don't do what i don't proceed from here something like this you get so if someone when someone click on an item i'll just get back with what with these results so now i hope you've understood that okay i've just added these params when the screen starts i check if the params are not empty i just receive whatever someone might have sent through this is picker or you can maybe first check uh if if is picker is not null something like that sometimes it can be null sometimes it might, it might it might not be said something like that okay so you can just simply uh check uh, if it is not null because it's null maybe it can throw an error if if what if it contains that key okay and then i say if maybe is true something like that so i can just harmonize it in that way so that you cannot have some errors eh? so if your speaker is true i then make this one to be true okay so you can just surround it with these things so you cannot have errors okay so when it is true i know that someone is picking now you want to pick from that little letter so and uh, when uh, i know someone is picking also someone will tap on the item i return whatever he has picked all right so that's it and now we can go ahead and come back now to our screens of create so here now we have to pass uh is picker so let me come and get this word is picker so i'll come back to our create screen so here uh store categories screen so I'll go ahead and pass here curl bracket and then i put is picker and i make it to true 
so it means that here when you're calling this to make his speaker is true so you shall now have something else also crying somewhere for example here in the menu because we are also calling it but in the menu we are not picking we are just listing so it shall do we shall just simply pass an empty array i mean an empty map object so you should not be able to launch the to implement the speaker so i'll go back to the screen okay so it's how you shall know that is speaker so i'll check i'll check i'll check after so i'm waiting so you have to make sure that you wait you do await dot get the two so and it will turn you back whatever it's come so i first check if if selected is not null i go ahead and get so if selected that is not now let me first show you if it's not now i can say utils dot toast and then you have have you have selected and then i put what has been selected okay if it is not null so that's it i think that's it so you can rewatch if you've uh got some challenges and make sure that you understand so if i come and click here you see i have this so when i click on this it goes back you see you have selected vegetables it goes back with what i've selected you see you have selected drinks uh so it means that if i come here and do ah. so if i come back here and i don't select anything it will not do that to us because it has come back as now okay so that's how i can implement the selector okay so i go ahead and uh, and uh, so when when it is not null i go ahead and now in, and initialize so i say widget dot item dot category id equals to selected dot id dot to string okay to string like this and then the text or what you want to display equals to select dot name so we have to update here manually what should be uh, displayed i think we do form key and then say that field selected i don't know what this one will say we'll update it let's see or field selected and then say that yeah it is doing so okay it is doing so so you just simply uh current form that this current state and then put extension mark and say fields and then you put here what you want to update so want to update this okay this field and say if it is not null they say did change and then you pass whatever has changed by doing like that it will be able to set this field with whatever you have selected so at the same time you've also updated the what the values as well you get it eh? so that is how you do what that is how you do the selector so you can pause the video and do it again and make sure that you understand that concept okay you understand that concept it can be a little bit confusing but uh, once you understand you'll see that everything is making sense so i can have here my selector now i can select drinks i can select vegetables and i'm reusing the same categories list like i don't want to suffer again and again to create a different list and if you come here there's no any error okay okay so that is it all right so now we proceed we proceed so our selector is done then we come to our item name so item name you can watch that very carefully to make sure that you understand it but it's straightforward if you give it very full attention so we come here to our item name now our item name our item name is here okay our item name is here and then it says stock category dot name uh stock so it's going to be stock subcategory name so this is straightforward i think it's the same we don't need to change anything there uh so a description the same as this we don't need to change anything there we have status the same we don't need to change anything there we have the image the same we don't change it there only that the measuring unit you shall need to put the measuring unit so the measuring unit is going to be much more like a name so i can just simply copy this name and add it there and come and put here measuring unit uh measuring unit so I'll come and put measuring unit here measuring unit and come and put here measuring measurement unit or measuring unit whatever 
measuring unit. I'll make it uh, minimum. I'll remove this condition. Maybe make it minimum of one at least. Okay. Ah, this is just the same. Let me remove this. I just make it required. So that's the measurement unit. And then we put pre-order level, reorder level, uh, reorder level, reorder level. So I'll just simply come and minimize this, copy it, paste, and then you're going to put here the call re order level. Come and put here order level. Come and put here order level. So this is going to be a uh, re order level. Now this is going to be a keyboard of uh, integer. So input or so maybe uh, input type keyboard type is a number should allow someone to enter the integer. So the order level you enter an integer. So you can put here a uh, minimum mean of maybe at least one. I can put maybe zero or something like that. So someone should not put negative. So that is it. That is order level. I think that's all. I think that's all. The rest are already there because we are benchmarking from the parent, which is category. So I think that's all. So let's go ahead and register our subcategory. Let's go ahead and register subcategory. I uh, shall go ahead and select uh, maybe vegetables. Under vegetables, you can put maybe tomatoes. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe come here see now the beta is you are able to come in subcategories and edit let's say put here maybe uh, food stuffs and then we go ahead and save okay after saving you come here and put maybe detergents detergents like this and then we go ahead and select the right photo uh, 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 uh. come and put here detergents I hope that's a correct spelling detergents category photo so I can come and select this and long press download image then come to our project change image to use from gallery I select detergents and I save yeah so that's it it loads here you have detergents here we have that uh, so let's come back here to subcat stock subcategory and then refresh let's add a hassle category so you have food stuffs so under food stuffs you're going to have a subcategory of drinks you see how things are beautiful uh, measuring units maybe you can put maybe in liters 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 i don't know that's a correct spelling i don't know why this thing is not giving me suggestion here let me see name okay i don't know why it's not giving me suggestion input is it the keyboard let's put text and you see what this keyboard shall have I don't know why it's not suggesting. Enable suggestion. True. Uh -huh. I don't know why. I'll do research and see. I don't know whether this is the right spelling of liters. Liters. Okay. Uh -huh. So we order level. Uh, when it is remaining, maybe five liters. The system should warn me. I should active I say maybe drinks and then after I go ahead and select in the right image for example I'll come and say I think the image of drinks already have it so this I pick from select from gallery drinks uh, here I go ahead and submit hope oh, yes it will not throw an error so you see have the drinks there and it don't throw an error let's try to edit and uh, now you see the challenge is uh, we're not sending back the what the the category name okay we're not sending back the category name the category takes everything we're sending it back 
but I'm not sending back the what the category text. We shall come back to that, okay? We shall definitely come back to that and I show you how we fix it, okay? So that is very nice. Let's put one more category, a subcategory. Uh, so under foodstuffs, we can have now maybe uh, vegetables, vegetables, and then you can have maybe this intermediary kilograms and then you can have reorder level of maybe five kilogram of active and then you can put maybe some details and then you go ahead and you select the right image uh, vegetables here submit that's done then you can put maybe cereal something like that things like rice and the rest go ahead and select food stuff and put maybe Eh? cereal I hope that's yeah I think not is showing me suggestions eh? cereals okay cereals measuring unit in kilograms and then we we'll go ahead and select the order levels maybe in the remaining 50 kilograms this should be what to warn us and then we we'll go ahead and put the cut some categories some details and then go ahead and select the image uh pick from gallery let's come here and pick the and download the image ta, 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 ta. uh serious category image serious okay. Hope oh, that's correct one. Hope oh, that's correct one. I don't know. Do download image and this will be our fine one select image from gallery submit so there we go there we go everything is very 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 nice okay so that's it that's it that's it that's it for categories for subcategories and they're being able to be listed we can even be able to edit okay that's it for now let's meet in the next lecture where we are going to look at uh, company profile yeah company profile do we need it anyway <laughs> company and we're going to go straight to stock items, stock items and then company profile here this when you have maybe configuration eh? uh, shall we need it okay maybe we shall let me see if you have it in an api if you have it in api we shall do company profile that we have it others you don't have it you shall come to it later when you are mastering the application that's when you shall come to company information and to do the mastering when you're doing the mastering okay so we meet in this next lecture where we are going to look at the stock items and then stock records in the next next then lecture next week all right thank you for watching uh keep pushing make sure that you understand everything yeah don't skip anything because once you understand these things then you can be able to start making your own solutions see you in the next lecture goodbye